Hey YouTube guys, welcome back to Tech Smart for a special Saturday episode of Tech Top 5. This episode, we're checking out the most dangerous iPhone cases in the world that you might have seen, but probably haven't. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you get subscribed and join to become a member. It's super easy, you get to chat along in the premiere, and as you guys know, with every episode of Tech Top 5, it comes out on Saturdays, you can actually chat back with me while the video is going live, and watch it as it basically goes out to everyone in TechSmart. So that's pretty sweet, and it's also really cheap, and there's a few different levels of perks, so if you wanna be in a video, that's one of them. If you want some merch, access to a live stream, some bonus content on TechSmart too, you know where it's at, so enough plugging with that. Tech Top 5 is all about where we check out some of the cool products here on TechSmart and even in history, and it's really controlled by you guys because you get to tell me what to check out. So drop some comments down below with anything else on TechSmart, maybe watch some videos, find some of your favorite products, and if you find a theme, drop it down below or hit it up on Instagram or Twitter. Super easy, in this one, most dangerous iPhone cases, how we do it, we rate it one through 10, then we put it up against the test. You guys might have seen the test on Twitter a little early if you're following, but here we go. Up first, and in no particular order, as we do it here on Tech Top 5, the iPhone gun case. So, like we do it, gotta go check out the old video on TechSmart. If you guys wanna check out the playlist, it's linked down below, or right up there in the iCard if you missed the video. What is that? A Wiz Khalifa on IFC shirt? And I think it was playing Drake's One Dance? Man, 2016 Keaton was way different. So banned iPhone gun case, there was a New York Times article. Oh yeah! Gun-shaped iPhone case is a terrible idea. That article came out in 2015. So here we have it still. This is the iPhone gun case. Pairs up perfectly with my iPhone 6S Plus. And it's really simple. There's not really a lot to it, but with the iPhone 6S Plus having kind of landscape mode, you could basically now watch content. It works, it really does work. And of course there is a trigger, but it doesn't do anything. So I don't think taking this out in the pink version would be too intimidating. I think there was a second article in the video. Then let's dive into the comments. No way, the telegraph. Armed police confront man with gun-shaped iPhone case. And there was an app, pairs it up. Perfectly. <laughs> Honestly, what do you think by having this? That's just going overboard. We're not showing any app in this video. And then you got this picture. New cell phone cases, this is ridiculous. I think this was like the only viral picture to leak on it. You guys get the idea. It's an iPhone gun case, they make it in black. Very dangerous, very dangerous. So scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a seven. This is not bad in terms of how bad and dangerous and illegal these iPhone cases can get. Definitely a good start, but doesn't do anything. All right, so jumping into the comments, the gun handle should have a power bank. Yeah, that, that would have been clever. It's definitely hard, hard to put it anywhere, because even if you try to pocket it, it's not really meant to pocket. It's not a real good case for uh, taking outside the house. Next up at number two, we got the iPhone stun gun case. This works with the iPhone 4. There was a company that started making them for like the iPhone 6, iPhone 7, but this is the iconic one. And the video actually had a special guest, Big Nick, before he did music, uploaded in 2016. Yeah, this was definitely the year of the iPhone cases. And as you would think, what iPhone does this work for, Ev? The old rectangular iPhone 4 and 4S. So just by clicking the switch up here, you can see the blue light. And I mean, let me just watch the video and remember, did I stun myself? Oh, we hit 50,000 likes too. Oh man, I said if I hit 50,000 likes, I'd stun myself. And I think I just went for it in the video. Oh my God, no! But really with the iPhone stun gun case, you have these two prongs at the top, I'm the taser case, and with the button, makes a blue light. Here we go. Oh, it really smells. Three, two, one. All right, yep, that made contact on that last time. So, pretty basic stun gun case. If they kept it going, and obviously if this still existed in 2019, maybe some company might revive it. You can power it and you can charge your iPhone 4 with it. Nice little button down here. Little perk for you. So scale of one to 10, how does it come out? Give it an eight. This is good, Ev. We gotta get to 10 status though. 
Up 3 is probably one of the most dangerous iPhone cases on this list. Hard to find nowadays the exact ones, but this is one of them. This is an exploding glitter iPhone case. And you're probably thinking, exploding glitter iPhone case. Good one. Well, the liquid inside here, when tested, and actually when people would just drop their phones with the case on there, like humans, well, over time, the plastic starts to crack, and the liquid on here was, well, starting to seep out when people had it in their pockets. So, that actually causes skin irritation. It's not quite an exploding phone, but the liquid in a glitter iPhone case could burn you. And basically, 275,000 liquid glitter iPhone cases for the iPhone 6S and 6 and 7, all were recalled. Basically, all this model where you could have the single camera right in there. Basically, they were manufactured in China by a company named Mixpin. All you really need to know is with this case and a few others out there, if you do see one on a new phone or even on someone else's old phone, just be careful. Hey, maybe even tell them. They could be carrying around something Basically, if it leaks open, we'll burn. And well, if you watch the video right up there in the iCard, try to burn basically a piece of meat or myself. Well, you guys find out for yourselves. Scale of one to 10 rating time, Ev. I'm giving this a nine. This is the most lethal on this list, or is it? Wait till you guys see number four. In a number four, and definitely a strong contender with number three, the iPhone pepper spray case. This is a pepper spray canister basically attached to an iPhone case just right on the side. The crazy and kind of sad part is I tested this out. Kate and Gabe came over and I mean, the video's all here. First second of it. This is like we're normal. Oh, and she was so scared. I was so scared too. We were both so scared because pepper spraying someone, it's, Unless you've done it before, you don't know what to expect. I gotta jump into some of these comments. Oh, Keaton, for all the things you do for us, this must be the most painful one. <laughs> Thank you, someone appreciates it. I started laughing so hard when he was crying. Yes, I'm evil. Okay, that's YouTube. I get how the internet works. Imagine if he wasn't recording or the girl held the pepper spray backwards. Whoa, Kate, I'm so happy that didn't happen at one take or even two takes. We got it on the first try. But I think we all can agree being in that room, it's so potent and you're gonna feel it to some degree, even if it doesn't hit you in the face. All right, just to get to it, rating on the iPhone pepper spray case, a nine. It's pretty solid. And at number five, the most dangerous iPhone case on this list, and wait till we get to the rating at the end, is Ev. Any guesses? What's in the tin? It's pretty hard to tell, I mean, Pretty good way to keep it safe over the years. This is the Brass Knuckles iPhone case. And if you look at the knuckles, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's been in use, but they're a little dented. If you guys missed the video, it's right up there in the iCard. Before we get this assembled to the iPhone, let's just jump into the video, because this is a crazy one. This is kind of what kicked off the madness, May 2016. So I think that's kind of when I started to find these crazy cases. Jump into the comments when you have to fight an apple and lose. Pretty much my life. I feel like he never fought in his life before. Have I? That is not a screwdriver, it's an Allen key. <laughs> Did I say screwdriver in there? Yeah, it's an Allen key, I swear. That's an Allen key, not a screwdriver. All right, the rest of the comments, probably how I don't know which hardware is which. So, I think it's only time to assemble. So to install it, basically flip the brass knuckles case over, screen first. Then you need to take this kind of guard plate here and that just secures it. Do I think I'm gonna be fighting anyone on the streets with an iPhone case? No. But am I protected at all times? Maybe. So with the Brass Knuckles iPhone case, obviously it still turns your phone on. Just like that, basically you can still use it. The power button, since it can't be accessed, it's actually this button right here. So just by clicking this, turns on, turns off. You still have access to all your volume buttons, your mute switch, there's nothing at the top. Obviously everything on the back is exposed, but with this kind of plate, just keeps your iPhone secure. Lightning port at the bottom, headphone jack, when it was still a thing, and then speaker cut out. So everything's as you'd expect. It's basically just an aluminum mold. And if you wanna do anything, you gotta just go for it. It's a really large grip. Like normally when you make a fist, you kinda tighten your fingers together. But with this, um, I feel like you're just making more contact with the surface area than anything. So Ev, are you ready for this? 
Scale of one to 10. I'm giving this a 10 all day because when you bring this case around, people automatically know what's up. It's not like the pepper spray case where they're like, what's in there? Is it pepper spray? Or with the stun gun case where you kind of have to show someone, you whip this out, people know what's up. And I don't think you want to whip it out or bring it anywhere or even pick one up because this is truly one of the most dangerous iPhone cases in the world. And now time for the test. We even got some tea because I know this one's going to get spicy. <laughs> So in the last Tech Top 5 episode, if you guys missed that, definitely make sure to check it out. We went on to play Apex Legends with the most weirdest keyboards out there. The most weirdest of the weirdest keyboards in the world. I think that's the easiest way to say it. In this video, we're having a hard time testing out the most dangerous iPhone cases because outside of self-inflicting pepper spray and tasing myself, which I've already done, I could punch myself with a brass knuckles case, but you guys in the comments don't think I can fight. So what's really fair other than asking you guys on Twitter? So I tweeted out, you get pulled over and these phone cases are in front of your car seat. Which ones got you scared? Reply to being a video. All right, so Eric from Tesla Inventory, one definitely, two and five maybe. So he's saying the gun case for sure, two and five the stun gun case, pepper spray case, three and four no problem. Okay, so the glitter case is fooling no one. Brass knuckles case? Eric's not even scared of it? All right, Sam. Three can catch on fire and burn me and cover me in glitter. He gets it. Sam gets it. Benji, probably the knuckle one. That's an actual weapon. That's what I'm saying. You see what I get? You see what I get with this? You take this out in public. Doesn't matter if you know how to fight or not. People are pulling up on you. The pepper spray, I've been sprayed on accident and it hurts. All right, so Miles gets it. Three for sure. The glitter case. All right, so some of you guys are starting to get this glitter case. All right, glitter case definitely passes. I have the iPhone gun case. Scared, not scared? All right, I'd be scared of this one too. Definitely passes the test. You guys get, it's kind of a hard test to do. Let's see what other comments we got. The sparkly one, pepper spray. I think it's pretty safe to say the pepper spray iPhone case passes the test. This is definitely a dangerous iPhone case. Really, so the only two we have left are the brass knuckles and the stun gun case. Not the two that I thought would be last, but let's see. Three and one have me triggered. Glitter case, gun case. Wow, oh wait, three and one have me triggered. The gun would have me scared the most, the other ones are fine. So you guys just seem fine with this? Maybe it's just me blowing this out of proportion. Probably, that's usually me. All of them, what sane person has these? Well, the taser is the only lethal one. Wait, the taser stun gun, the stun gun case is lethal? Gun scares everyone, got it. Two and both are stunning and shocking, but I think one wins due to its fire design. This is that fire, bro. I think it's pretty safe to say the stun gun case, Ev, passes the test? Ev's gonna say no. All right. Maybe I'm just being a baby about it. All right, gun case, yeah, buddy. Last one, does it all break on me? The brass knuckles case. I gotta find a reply that says they're scared of this. Definitely the brass knuckles. Remember the $3 iPhone fan killer. Ben, you get it. Got some long-term subscribers on Twitter here. All right, doesn't seem like the Brass Knuckles iPhone case passes the test, so that is a no. Stun gun case, I'm gonna say is a no too. Gun case, for sure. Pepper spray case, of course. And then the exploding glitter case, Ev. Everyone agrees. They know what this is too. Pretty dangerous, eh? So guys, those are the most dangerous iPhone cases in the world. If you go to part two, thumbs up you do, and make sure you get subscribed and join to become a member if you're new around here. Hit it up on Instagram and Twitter. It's just TechSmart if you want to be in the next test for the next Tech Top 5. That's always a tongue twister. I'll catch you guys next time.